Hey everyone, Ava Pilot here, and today I'm doing a review on Majin Buu Final Form, and this is part of the Dragon Star series, and it's from Bandai. I'm doing this one today because actually my son picked this one. He said he looked scary, so I said, sure, why not? And, you know, I like Majin Buu. Now, this is Majin Buu after his Super Buu form. And, of course, after Goku beats him, he gets reincarnated as Oob. And this is actually his pure form. Uh, even though it says final, that's what everyone calls him, or they call him Kid Buu. Uh, this is supposed to be the pure form of Majin Buu. His most powerful. He has this nice purple lightning in the background. And you can see he comes with a couple hands. Well, let's see what's on the back of the box. Oh! There we go, a nice picture on the side. Let's see the other side too. Oh, just a window. Alright, let's flip it. And here we can see some of the others from Series 11 and Series 12. Majin Buu is part of Series 11. And there's also Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. And then Series 12 has Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Super Saiyan Broly, the Dragon Ball Super version, and Android 18. So I think I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, collecting of these. I do love Dragon Ball. So let's get this open and take a closer look. Alright, and here he is out of the package. And here are some extra hands he comes with. He has a little pointer finger for one of his attacks. He has an open hand. And another open hand. And the ones he comes with is closed fists. These figures look really good, uh, just like they do on the show. A lot of details to them. You can see the little circles that he has on his chest and around his head. Huh, a little bit of plastic on there. Take that off, okay. So they have really good joints. Uh, they're not loose, and they're not hard. Everything goes real easy. And with all these different uh, areas of articulation, you can pose them anything you want. All right, so let's talk about you know his colors. He's mainly pink. Then he has black for around his wristbands, the belt, around the legs, at the bottom. He also has black eyes. With red irises. And then little black pupils. I don't know if you can see that very well. Look at that menacing grin. He knows he's tough. I just love the way he looks. And then he also has white for the pants. And green shoes. And that's it for color. And then also for articulation. He can move his head. His uh, shoulders. Right below the shoulder at the arm. And he has butterfly joints for the elbows. He can move his hands. He can move his waist. He can also move his legs. He has more butterfly joints in the knees. And then you can move his feet. And for details, I mean, he's got everything. He has a little like weird antenna thing on top. He has those dots that I was mentioning before, or I guess they're vents, because uh, you know when he gets angry, steam comes out. He got the little Majin symbol there. And I always like how they do it, like especially with clothing, it has all the wrinkles and everything in the pants. Then even the shoes, there's a if you look, has a little crease there and there. That's pretty nice. Yeah, so Majin Buu is just a powerhouse. I know. I remember I used to watch it. And it was always a... Uh, it was always fun watching Dragon Ball Z. You never knew what power level people were at. Like, I remember early in Dragon Ball Z. You know, everyone had the power levels. It was easy to keep track of things. But then, like, during the Frieza saga, I think they stopped pretty much with the power levels. Uh, scouters weren't 
really a thing anymore. People weren't using them unless you counted the movies they had, which they weren't canon. But like, Cooler's army would use them. Freeze's army used them. Saiyans were using them. Then they stopped because they you couldn't measure their power levels anymore. I mean, Majin Buu can eradicate a whole planet. I remember Goku had a tough time. He was doing pretty good with, I think it was Super Saiyan 3. It's been a couple years since I watched, so... My memory is a little hazy, but... He was Super Saiyan 3, he was doing pretty good, but then he got... Either too cocky, and it went too long, so he lost the power. So, to beat him, I do believe they used a spirit bomb from everyone. And there was a... Actually, Hercule that helped out with that. He got everyone to spare their energy. Like I said, my memory, not all there. Uh, I also had a long day at work, so... I'm not thinking too clearly right now. I could use a break. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it just looks so good. And to switch hands, they just pop right off. They have little ball joints there. Just take them, put them on. Yeah, so they might not have come any accessories that are extra, except for hands, but they don't need anything else. It would have been nice if maybe he came with one extra hand. It's just, uh, you only get one pointer, and it has to be for his left hand. But besides that, really no complaints. I think it's a great looking figure. Uh, he would look great next to the other boos. And like I said, I'm going to be collecting them. Uh, I actually have a couple right now in boxes that I need to do reviews on. I have Super. I have uh, Android 18, and then I have oh, what was it Super Saiyan Gogeta Dragon Ball Super version, which that one looks really nice too. Like I said, they all look very nice. They put a lot of details into these. Bandai is really good about that. Bandai loves putting as much detail into things as they can to make things authentic. And I have to say, especially with the sculpt of this one, it's perfect. Oh yeah, it even has all the vents along his uh, spine area. And they're also on his arm too, I didn't even notice that. There's a couple of them that I could have gotten, but I don't know why I didn't. I bought some other figures instead. Uh, I do want to get Frieza in his gold form. And I... What was it? Super Saiyan God Vegeta I saw? I can't even remember now. It was last week. But, yeah, I'm going to be doing reviews on these. So stick around and watch some more. So why don't you all, you know, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe, and I will see you all later.